Hey everybody, this is Ed the Old Tech Guy. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to reset your computer back to factory settings, especially if it's a modern PC that you've bought in the last five years or so. This is specifically talking about a Windows based PC. This is a Dell. Um, this is one of these new Dell Enterprise units. It's pretty cool. It's a Dell Precision 3540. Uh, this is the one with, the, with Windows 10 installed, Windows 10 Pro, i7 processor. I believe it's got 8 or 16 gigs of RAM. This unit has caught a virus. Now, I've got two ways of fixing this. I can go ahead and delete the virus and correct the registry and do all those things that you need to do. Unfortunately, though, the, the type of virus that this got, somebody was in here moving things around. I've blocked him while I do this. So I'm sure he didn't get a chance to get into like the BIOS or some even more integral pieces of the computer where he could have done some major damage. We caught it right on time. If you're ever fearful that this has happened to you, here's what you're going to do. Nice and simple, especially with Windows 10. If you've got Windows 7, Windows 8 or anything else, exclude that from this video so all you're going to do is go right here right in the search and you're going to type in reset and see where it says right here reset this pc you're going to click that you're going to open this guy up here so you can see well and then right here if if your pc isn't running well resetting it might help it lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. We want to go ahead and delete everything because we currently don't trust what's on it. And we want to go ahead and hit get started. And here you have a choice, keep my files or remove everything. Now, if you suspect that you have a virus or you suspect that, that you have a corrupted file that's going to cause your computer to fail, you want to remove everything. Now, warning, warning make sure you go ahead and back up your files do not do not do this if you're concerned about losing your family pictures losing your resume using losing any important files once you click this and we start going through the prompts you're going to lose everything you have on your computer so hopefully you've been doing weekly backups or nightly backups or at least every few months backups, because now if there is a virus in here, it could have infected multiple sets of files. And you may save a picture thinking that I'm backing up now, but that picture may, that picture may actually be carrying with it a Trojan file or another file that will reinitiate the virus in your system. So go ahead and just hit remove everything we know that this is a corporate pc it's backed up to the server every night we know we're okay so we're going to go ahead and hit remove everything just remove your files this is quicker but less secure all right and this is the setting you want remove files and clean the drive this may take hours but it will be harder to recover files we don't ever want to recover these files. We don't know if these files are allowing somebody to take co take control of this computer. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK on and hit confirm, right? So that's data erasure. Remove files and clean the drive. This may take hours, but it will be harder to recover files. So hit confirm. And it's just taking you through your settings again. And it gives you one more chance to change your settings. But we, don't, we know that that's what we want. And then we're going to hit next. And now it's just going to do its thing. Well, let's hit reset there. It asked me for one more prompt. Reset. When this comes back, it's going to start brand new, just like when you got it out of the box from Dell or your or any other manufacturer. So resetting it, we hope that it kills the virus. And I've done this multiple times to different machines and never had them come back and never had somebody say, Ed, I want my money back. The virus came right back. It fixed the issue. This is this is like taking a atom bomb to the virus. Um, and, and some things like they say roaches <laughs> can survive atom bombs. There are some viruses that can survive this. And sometimes 
Your only fix is to go in there and do a low level format on your drive, meaning writing all zeros to your drive and then going ahead and doing it what's considered or called a government low level format, which you do that seven times over. So you write zeros on your hard drive seven times. I don't think that we're at that level and I don't think we have to be that secure right now by doing this and restarting the system and reconnecting it to the domain, that virus is going to be gone. So hang tight. I'll show you the end of this here. And guys, just know this is how I make cash. People pay me to do this. They could do it themselves, but they'd rather pay a professional to have it done right. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and check it, hook it up to the internet, make sure what ports are open and things like that. And we will get into those higher level testing features in other videos. Right now, this is a nice, simple video on how to reset your machine back to factory settings so that you can save yourself from a virus attack. Okay. Okay, if you get some background noise, I apologize. There's everybody's home, obviously, and it's kind of tough to, to, to make videos right now with everybody being home during this uh, epidemic. So you may get this right here on your computer, and it says, do you want to clear the TPM or do you want to reject? Now, look up the settings on your computer on the Dell website or whatever manufacturer you have. For this specific case, I'm going to go ahead and clear the TPM. That shouldn't cause any issue here. So you're going to go ahead and hit F12, right? And it continues to go through. Now it's going to go ahead and clear the TPM. And that's going to erase any keys, anything that has been saved in the BIOS. You will go ahead and get those back right when you start uploading and, and, and updating things with Dell and the and, and the software that's included here. Just go ahead and clear everything. The reason why we're clearing these things is because we're concerned since this had a virus, we wanna make sure that we don't have anything saved in the TPM or in the BIOS or anywhere else that could give somebody access to come back in. Those keys could have been adjusted or recorded. So we wanna go ahead and start fresh. And there you go, guys. Check it out. We're right about to start setting up our computer here. United States, yes. And again, you're just going to go through your prompts just like you did when you first got the computer. And that's it. That's how you set it up. Nice and easy. Easy repair. Now, of course, I'm going to do some different things to set it up on the domain, which gets me a few more, you know, dollars for doing the job. But guys, there's a lot of people looking for somebody to fix their computer from a virus or things that are going on, especially right now with what's going on. There's a lot of people, the epidemic, right? The epidemic has a lot of people at home sitting around and guess what they have time for? Hacking. A lot of hacking is going on and people are getting hacked and they need help from experienced IT people. So even if you're not experienced and you're just learning, start doing some side jobs. You'll learn more, you'll become proficient, and people will start coming to you and you'll build your customer base. You start building your customer base by making relationships. I talked a little bit about that on one of my last videos. Please make relationships, show people you can do this IT work, and you will absolutely, absolutely start making more money by doing quick, easy things. And then it just starts doing the updates and stuff. Nice and simple. Please, if you haven't gone about and diversified yourself in different sets of skills so that you can make money, start doing so today.